try all right. Have my uh, Honda CRF 110 wheels done. Um, I used uh, an Excel Takasago rim. Uh, it was really hard to find for the Honda. Um, the Honda CRF 110 has like uh, steel uh, rims, and they're really cheap and flimsy. I ended up pulling the old tires off the rim, and the rims are bending. So I just figured I'd go all out since I'm rebuilding the the uh, the Honda uh, from pretty much the whole engine, uh, you know, touching everything up. I figured I'd might as well go ahead and build the uh, new wheel sets. Um, so bought an Excel rim. The front is um, an Excel BCK 413. It was the only one that I could find that was a 36 hole uh, rim, and so you got a 36 hole hub. And what I did is I ordered BBR spokes, but unfortunately the spoke nipples uh, are undersized from the stock. Um, uh, for the for the rim, they're they're undersized. So what I had to do is call up Buchanan spokes, and I ordered a custom uh, or just nipples that would fit the uh, fit the rim. So uh, overall, it laced up a um, little bit tricky. Uh, what you have to do is lace it up with the stock. Uh, spoke nipples because the angle of the spoke nipple is not the same coming in for the spoke it's it's like a bad angle so you tend to bend some of the spokes a little bit um, so when you lace it if you do happen to do this project use the stock uh, smaller nipples they're a five millimeter nipple uh, that go into the rim uh, lace it up true it up and then once you get it uh, at least put together and somewhat true. Take each nipple out one by one and replace them with the bigger seven millimeter nipple. So these are a seven millimeter nipple. Um, so that's, that's how I did my front. Overall, it came out pretty nice. Uh, you know, there's a slight bend on some of the spokes, uh, just the way they fit into the rim. Uh, it's it's it should be pretty minor. I think like this is maybe, you know, I don't know. You can't really tell a whole lot. There's some of them that you can tell a little bit. There's a, you know, some of these spokes have a slight bend to them that you can tell. But overall, uh, it's a pretty nice uh, uh, wheel uh, build. So that's my uh, front wheel for the uh, CR-110. Hopefully I'll have the whole bike running this weekend. So I put on a new uh, Michelin S3 uh, for our uh, sandy soil over here in Michigan. All right, so here's my uh, Honda CRF uh, 110 rear wheel. Um, so same situation. The Honda had uh, you know steel rims. The, the steel rims are really kind of cheap and flimsy. Didn't really like them. Put on an, an XL uh, Takasago rim. That rear rim uh, is a an XL ACK 411, and. Uh, it actually fits up uh, perfectly with the hub. Um, I used BBR uh, heavy duty spokes and everything laced up really nice. It was a pretty easy wheel build uh, to lace and true. So overall, um, the only trick to this one is just make sure you lace one to the outside and uh, one to the inside on this hub uh, because there's no room to fit both spokes underneath. I, I tried, it just didn't work. You don't get the proper angle uh, going into the uh, um, into the wheel, so anyways, that's the uh, the CRF uh, rear wheel.